These are the new 5040 props from Surveil Zone, and they are supposed to be unbreakable. I have been flying with them a lot at the cabin, crashing them many times, including a really severe crash in a concrete wall. The Mobius cracked open, the lens battery and memory card flew out, but the props did not break. However, they took some damage. I put the Mobius back together, but it did not work. I tried resoldering it by baking it in the oven. Hmm, it smells good. I think it's finished. But no luck. The problem was actually a bad connection between the ribbon cable and the camera part. It would not even read the memory card if the camera part was not connected. Luckily I was able to get the connection again, and I could continue flying. These props are great. You can fly into trees and just continue flying, or crash, pick it up and just fly again. Eventually these props will break, but it takes a lot of crashing before you have to replace them. The bad news is that they are inefficient, and they will not give you a lot of thrust. Especially with a heavy battery, a 4S2200 milliamps, it doesn't break or stop very fast. If you want to make a bullnose out of 60-40 props, they will be more efficient and give you more thrust, but strangely, they can't take as much damage as the smaller 50-40 props. There are new 60-45 bullnose props you can buy, but I haven't tried them. You will be able to buy some 50-45 bullnose also, but I don't know when. Some people have complained on how unbalanced the props are, and Surveil Zone have said they will now balance all props before they are sold. So that was a short update on these props. Soon we will try out some new motors, Sunsky and Cobra. Also, we will make a review of the new goggles. Subscribe if you haven't already, thumb this video up if you liked it, and also check us out on Facebook for early access to videos, unlisted videos, and some extra content. The link is in the video description. But until next time, fly safe and happy flying!